still watching Morning Live now. The Ushwini Arts, Culture and Heritage Center, supported by Etiquette Municipality, will be hosting a fundraising lecture titled Opportunities for Creative Arts Industry and Business in Africa. Now, tell us more. We're joined uh, by Cherry Poe, who will tell us more about the event and why they're hosting this lecture. Cherry, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Morning, morning. Lebu. I mean, what is the main purpose of having this lecture? Uh, the main purpose of having this lecture is to actually fundraise for the art center to Ushwini. Uh, but also is because uh, Ushwini is slightly becoming a pan-African center. Mm. So that's why it was relevant to do this lecture with uh, Nko Sazan. Talk to us about how she is part of this and her role in, in this event. Um, she, she is going to be part of this because uh, she's the chairperson of the AU and we are beginning to get into Africa and she also would like to see South Africa participating in the continent in terms of arts and culture. Elaborate on that. I mean, what are some of the issues that will be discussed at the lecture? Uh, in the lecture, uh, they'll be discussing about the opportunities of creative industries and business in Africa. Because most of the time we are locked in our own country mm -hmm. and we, we don't, you know, uh, reach out to Africa. So the lectures about there, that there are opportunities there and people can use those opportunities to actually be continental in terms of arts. Mm -hmm. Talk to, I mean, you were the founder of Ushwini Arts uh, Culture and Heritage Center. What are some of the challenges facing the center? And why do you think that it's important that we engage the young in the arts and culture sector? Um, the, the main challenge, of course, is also funding. It's always funding. But um, that's why we're trying to do this fundraising. And it's important that we, we nurture the youth from the beginning because we always complain about audience development. Mm -hmm. uh, but if we invest in these young people, this is our future audiences, not only future artists, but also future audiences in our country. All right. So um, talk to us about the fundraising event. So somebody who's listening to this conversation wants to be part of this fundraising event. How do they get a hold of you? What do they do? Um, when they want to be part of this event, it's an invited guest event, uh, but if they have interest, um, they can call us and uh, express that they want to be part of the event, because it's a beautiful event. There'll be Matala Gunene there, there'll be Kinam Shope there, there'll be our Ushwini artists there performing. Uh, so it's quite an exciting event. What has kept the lights on for you, for the Wushini um, Art and Culture Center? <clears throat> what has kept uh, you going I, I despite the challenges? Um, it's the passion of the artists who, who despite of everything, uh, they are willing to perform. Mm. Uh, because for me, lights in the theater any theater in the world should be always on. Mm. You know, you can't have a theater with dark lights, you know, because <laughs> uh, you've got, you've got um, the venue and the artists are always there. They're never short of artists, so I don't understand why the venue cannot be vibrant every day. What for you has been the best part of embarking on this journey and seeing these kids uh, prosper at the Arts, Culture and Heritage Center? Uh, it, 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 it's been a very beautiful thing because most of them, we start them young. Some of them, they won competitions. Some of them, they're being employed uh, full time now um, as young artists. So it, it's very exciting to see that the energy that we put uh, behind our programs is actually um, fruitful at the end. All right. Jerry, before we let you go, give us details of when the lecture is happening and all those other details that we may need to know. The lecture is happening at Moses Mabida Stadium mm -hmm. at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, so people can contact me on 083 
mm. or they can google copy dog yeah uh, marketing and get their num more numbers there all right cherry boy thank you so much for talking to us uh he was telling us about uh, the opportunities for creative arts and industry and business in Africa that will be hosted in Durban uh, tomorrow with some of the keynote speakers, including Dr. Nkosa Zanatlamini Zuma, who's, of course, the chairperson of the African Union Commission. Now.